today we are going to discuss another topic which is about solenoid so in the previous class we have learned that what is the magnitude of magnetic field produced around a current carrying loop and which law is applied to calculate the magnetic field produced around the circular loop and also we learned that the magnitude of the magnetic field is decreasing as we move away from the center of the loop means the magnetic field produced around the loop is non uniform then how we can produce a uniform magnetic field by a current carrying conductor so a device called solenoid is used to produce a uniform magnetic field around it so what is a device how it can produce a magnetic field uniform magnetic field around it or inside it or uh, what is its magnitude and these points we are going to discuss in this session so first of all what is a solenoid a solenoid consists of an insulating long wire wound around a cylindrical pipe in the form of a helix and as we said already it is a long wire the length of the wire is very large as we compare the diameter of the wire and in order to find out the magnitude of magnetic field produced by a solenoid we can use right hand thumb rule by using the right hand thumb rule how this magnitude of the magnetic field produced by the solenoid can be calculated so how is it is produced so here you can see from the figure the direction of the magnetic field produced okay yes the solenoid consists of a large number of turns in it that means a large number of circular loop is present inside a solenoid so the effective magnetic field produced by a solenoid will be the magnetic field produced by each individual circular loop present in it then how it can be calculated or how the magnitude of magnetic field produced inside the solenoid and outside the solenoid is differ okay let us see so here a solenoid if we cut it along the plane of paper so the each section of the wire can be seen represented by a dot here and the downside the each sec cut section of the wire is represented by a dot here then the each cut section there will be a magnetic field will be produced okay this is a cross section of the solenoid along the plane of paper and what will be the direction of electric current flowing through this uh, each cut section in the upper side so here the the direction of wire will be like this okay toward the outward direction so therefore the direction of electric current flowing through this wire will be outward direction that means in this direction okay so if we apply the right hand thumb rule here then we can get the direction of magnetic field produced here in anti clockwise direction okay so each section of this wire will produce a magnetic field in the anti clockwise direction perpendicular to the direction of flow of electric current okay the same way if we consider this the sections of wires in the downside so the direction of this wire inward direction right and that means the direction of electric current flowing through these wires will be inwardly or inward direction so if we apply the right hand thumb rule here then the direction of magnetic field produced will be in the clockwise direction okay each section will produce a magnetic field in the clockwise direction which is perpendicular to the direction of electric current and also we can see that the two neighboring sections of wire so they have the mag the direction of magnetic field is opposite directions so that means 
these two will cancel each other. Likewise, the next, these two will cancel each other. And these two will cancel each other. These two will cancel each other. Likewise, in the downward direction of the downside also. So, they are opposite in direction. So, they will cancel each other. Okay. Then, what will be the effective magnetic field? The effective magnetic field will be very less or it will be almost equal to 0. That means, V is equal to 0 where outside the solenoid. Okay. Then, what will be the magnitude of magnetic field produced inside the solenoid? So, inside the solenoid, this is the direction of the magnetic field. So, here, the direction of magnetic field produced here is uh, along the axis of the solenoid. So, that means the angle between, the angle between this uh, direction of magnetic field and the axis is same. So, then the, the direction of magnetic, the magnitude of magnetic field will be obtained as V here. Then how we can calculate the magnitude of magnetic field produced by a solenoid? Here this cut section of the wires you can see here. So here the magnetic field V is equal to 0 as we already know because the outside the solenoid the magnetic field is 0 we already discussed now. And here assume that this solenoid has n number of turns per unit length and also a current I is flowing through the solenoid. So, assume that that number n be the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid. Okay. Number of turns per unit length. And let us take here an Amperial loop, rectangular loop of length L here. Okay. P, Q, R, S. So the length here is L. The length of this loop is along the axis is L. Now, when the electric current flowing through this rectangular amperial loop, so the each line segment will produce a magnetic field around it. And how we can calculate this strength of the or magnitude of the magnetic field of the each line in line. So here along the direction PQ, okay, and along the direction PQ, so what is its, uh, it is along the axis, okay. So the direction of the magnetic field produced is uh, along the axis. So therefore the angle between them will be 0. So, that means theta is equal to 0 degree k. And for, for qr, then theta will be 90 degree. And for rs, again see, the direction of the magnetic field produced will be in the opposite direction okay, of this axis. So, here therefore the theta will be 180 degree. At the same time, we can also assume that the line integral R is the line segment RS is outside the solenoid. Therefore, the magnetic field produced here also will be 0. Again, for SP, again theta is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So, here theta is equal to 180 degree, but the magnetic field produced here is also 0. Total number of turns present in this solenoid is that is. N L be the total number of tens in length L. Okay, that means assume that uh, along this length L, okay, how many number of tens are there? That is total number of tens per unit length into the total length that is n into l be the total number of tens in length l. We take the line integral of this rectangular loop PQRS then the magnetic field in induction B over this closed path PQRS can be calculated by applying the Ampere circuital law. So that is equal to Close integral of B D L is equal to. So first of all, we calculate the 
magnetic field produced by the line segment PQ, okay, the loop, and again next UR plus, then RS plus, then SP. So first let us take integral of P Q. That is, if we take the cross product of this, then what will get B into DL into cos theta. Okay. So what will get B into DL into cos theta. What is the angle here? PQ. That is zero degree. And again, integral of QR. That is B into DL into cos. What is the angle? Ninety degree. Plus integral of R yes okay that is B into D L into cos one ninety degree plus then last integral yes P that's B into D L into cos ninety degree okay and again if we take the cross integral of B into D L is equal to so we know that the line segment PQ, the angle theta is equal to zero degree, and the value of cos theta will be one. So what will get? We will get integral of Q PQ will be B into DL plus and second QR QR the value of cos ninety is equal to zero. Then the term will be zero. And third term, R S, R S is the value of cos 180. That, that is also zero. But here, the R S is outside the solenoid. Okay, the R S is outside the solenoid. Therefore, outside the solenoid, the magnetic field produced is also zero. And again, S P, that is also cos 90 is also zero. Then this time also become zero. Then th these three times become zero here, and then what is this? The, the only the first time will remain. Okay, here the B. What is B? The magnetic field produced. So we know that here the B magnetic field produced inside the solenoid. The line segment is completely inside the solenoid along the axis. Therefore, the magnetic field produced inside the solenoid will be uniform. Okay. So therefore, this B is constant, so B can be taken outside the integral. And what about the length? The length L is also a constant, okay? Length is also a constant and also can be taken, written BL, okay? So therefore, we will get the closed integral of B dot DL is equal to BL. And also, <coughs> What is the total current flowing through this rectangular loop? Okay, the total current flowing through P Q R S. So that is equal to sigma i. That is the number of tails in P Q R S into current. Then what is the total number of times? Total number of times is L into L. And what is the current flowing through the loop? I. So sigma I is equal to N into L into from Ampere's circuital law. What is the integral B into DL is equal to mu naught into sigma i that is it is the product of the permeability of the medium and the total current flowing through the loop. So here the value of mu zero is a constant. So close the integral of B into dl is equal to mu zero into b. what is the value of sigma i sigma is already we have n into l into i also we have calculated close integral b dot dl is equal already we calculated that what is it that is b into l is equal to mu zero into n into l into i 
here L and L can be cancelled and what we get? The magnetic field produced is B is equal to mu 0 into N into I. And here, the magnetic field produced inside the solenoid along the axis is equal to B is equal to mu 0 into N into I. Here, the mu 0 is the permeability of the medium, this is a constant value. And the number of turns is also a constant. Okay? If we take a particular line, the number of turns will be same. And if the value of current flowing through that solenoid is also a constant value, then the magnetic field produced inside the solenoid will be uniform. Okay? So, in order to get a uniform magnetic field produced inside the solenoid, so these times are constant then you can produce a uniform magnetic field. And what if, if the solenoid has total number of turns is N, capital N, and the total length of the solenoid is capital L, then we can rewrite this equation as B is equal to mu 0 into capital N into I divided by L. Okay? So that is all about the solenoid and the magnetic field produced along the axis of the solenoid and outside the solenoid and I hope you understand.